In this video, I'm going to show you how to add users to your Windows NT40 server. To start off, we'll need to select the Start button, scroll up to Programs, and then down to Administrative Tools. Now, we have a couple of options here. Here, we can use, either use the Administrative Wizards, or we go directly to the User Manager for Domains. Here, I'm going to go ahead and use the User Manager. This brings up the user manager box and we're going to go ahead and click on user and select new user. Here we add the username. Now this is the name that we're going to be using for them to log in with. It's usually shorter than their full name. So I'm just going to use JS. Let's add their full name. And the description is just a tag to help identify with the account. Like if you put the sales office or if they're working from headquarters or whatever. It's a completely arbitrary tag to help organize the accounts. Here, I'm just going to put HQ. And we'll set the password. Now, we have some extra options that we can choose for this particular account. The first one is the user must change password at next login. What that is saying is the very first time the user logs in, the login manager is going to take him through a process of changing the password. This is a security feature as, as administrators will not know the password and allows the users to choose something that the user is more familiar with. And then we have the user cannot change password. You check this box if you want to prevent users from changing their own password in case they forget. The next box is password never expires. I don't recommend checking this box as it is good practice to have the user's password change every 60 to 90 days. And the last one is account disabled. If the user has resigned from the company or moved to a different department and different domain or whatever, you check this box to disable the account. You don't want to delete it right away. It's a good practice to disable it and then delete it later on. Now we have three boxes to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and choose the first one, Groups. What this is, is you're assigning the user to Groups. It's already a member of the Users group. The only difference between the groups is they all have different permissions to allow the user to do different things. I'm going to go ahead and keep the user in the Users group. The next box is Profile. The profile is where you set up the home directories, set up the login scripts if you have them, set up the local paths, and also the shared drives. This is where you would do that. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel for now. And the dial-in. This is where you would set up the permissions if the user is working from home and has a modem and be able to dial in with the modem to the server and set up the dial-in networking. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and click Cancel. Now we just click Add and then Close. And there you see my new user. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching.